I'm home again in the yurt. I had uh, five days away living in a proper house where you could switch the lights on and easily make a cup of tea and have a shower whenever I wanted and and people <laughs> people and children and you know conversation and internet 24 7 and I knew that it was going to be a really big tell when I got back was I going to arrive back in Wales thinking oh my god I'm going off grid again and how will I survive or will I end up driving down the lane with a big smile on my face? Well, I'm incredibly glad to say that the smile on my face was the option that I chose. It's, oh God, it's just wonderful to be back. I am so much a part of life here. And by life, I mean this stuff that's out there that runs through the trees and the mountains and and the weather and the rivers and the sheep and the the birds and and the landscape you know when we're inside a house and we're focused on work and even when we're focused on our friends we are divorced from that natural world and to be back in this round yurt being able to hear the rain pattering down on the uh, on the canvas above ah oh, just fantastic lying in bed last night and hearing the wind howling across the top of the valley was was just a treat and um Yes, it's, it's quite incredible how powerful and profound the impact of living like this uh, is having on me. But I've had an amazing week. So last Wednesday, a young photographer came down, very charming Alex, um, from Positive News to follow me around for the day doing a photo-led um, story. That was so much fun. Whenever I turned around, there was Alex with a camera pointing at me. But I, I absolutely loved it, and I sort of felt like a celebrity all day, and it was great. Um, I went up to London. I met up with friends I hadn't seen for a while, so that was fantastic. And on Saturday, I went and joined the March for Cecil, the March for Lions, going from... Um, where do we go? <laughs> from Hyde Park to Trafalgar Square and met up with Linda Tucker from the Global White Lion Protection Trust. Got to meet Jerome Flynn again at last and he's going to do an interview with me about his patronage um, of the Global White Lion Protection Trust. I met the team behind the very powerful expose documentary Bloodline Lions, Blood Lions, which is well worth seeing, although it's not a particularly pleasant view, but it really does show you the truth about how lions are bred and used and and considered a commodity in in southern africa and 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 it really does say never ever 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 is it okay to pet a lion cub because they will never go back into the wild they are very unlikely to be orphans the only reason they don't have uh, they're not with their mother is because they're taken away from their mother and everything on the whole that is said about lion petting and walking with lions is an absolute spin and they are bred in extremely unpleasant conditions and they are bred to be shot in unpleasant conditions even the hunters even people who consider themselves hunters who watched that film said canned lion hunting is not hunting it is shooting, it's killing. And I have no words for that. It, we, we must show our humanity and, and we can't go treating them like that. It is... It really is against nature and 
Well, watch Blood Lions and decide for yourself. <laughs> Obviously, I feel very passionate about it, and lions have been in my imagination and in my dream time ever since I was a child. The big cats have a profound impact on me, and I have the lion-headed goddess Sekhmet, who I've had around my neck for 20 years, ever since she was given to me for my 40th birthday in Cairo. And so lions rock and they are the apex of apex predators and there, are, there is a good reason not for us, there is a good reason for us not to mess with nature. At some point she will come back and bite us massively on the bum and I don't think it's going to be an enjoyable experience. But anyway, talking of nature, I'm back in her bosom in the wilds of Welsh Wales. I'm lighting a fire. I have done most of my work and, um, and I will catch up with you again soon. Bye for now. Oh, oh no, I keep forgetting. When I was driving out of Wales, to go back to London. I was just driving through this, I mean the landscape just does something for me and and I was looking at these hills and I just thought to myself they are so <laughs> incredibly delicious. I just want to pour spirals of whipped cream onto them and eat them up. There is something about this Come and visit. Bye.